Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? I am so sorry that I didn't upload for almost a whole week, you guys. I've just been super busy planning my birthday. It was also my mom's birthday too, and the giveaway and a whole bunch of stuff going on. But I do have an awesome Michaels haul here for you guys today that all of my crafting subscribers should enjoy. I got some beads and everything. So drop a like and let's jump into this Michaels haul. Okay, so I'm actually not filming in my regular location today because the heat is crazy and the sun is crazy too and I don't wanna have another crazy lighting video. So we are doing the craft video over here. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. So I'm gonna start out with the stuff that I got for my party, which is coming up, because even though my birthday just passed, I actually usually have my party in June, just because it's a little bit warmer where I am in Canada. Uh, so I did get these two pink, they're doilies, but they're like, I don't know, knit doilies, crocheted doilies, and I just thought, oh my gosh, these are so cute. I think they were like a dollar, if I'm right. $1.50 Canadian, which is pretty good because it is hard to come by anything for a dollar in Canada these days. So I did get two of those and I figured I can totally reuse those after my birthday as well. Sorry, I know you guys can like see my shadow there. Sorry about that. Um, but I did pick up another pack of these Martha Stewart doilies while I was in the aisle. I probably will use some of these for my party, but honestly, I just got these for crafting. I didn't know if you guys noticed that the original pack of these that I got ended up being like cut. Like one part was like cut and it was like that, like the whole pack. So I was like, ah, so I picked up another one. I also got these adorably cute napkins. This is basically like a set. So if you didn't know, but probably all of my crafting subscribers already know, but just in case you didn't know, Martha Stewart came out with all of these super amazing uh, party supplies and they just have really awesome themes and I just love the whole aesthetic of almost all of them. There is like six or seven or possibly even eight different collections. And there's like two or three that I'm like totally in love with. Um, so this one had like unicorns and everything. I didn't actually get any unicorn themed items for the party. However, I might. Last year I had unicorn cupcakes. But I did pick up these really super cute napkins. Aren't they so gorgeous? So I only got one pack because I figured, you know, one pack is enough to like give the aesthetic and look that I want. And then I can just use like mint ones, you know, and mix them in. And then I did get a pack of these gorgeous holographic plates and I did pick up another pack of these another time that I was there. So I have two packs of these now and I am absolutely in love with these those are going to be awesome i also got a pack of the bigger plates and in total it is only going to be eight adults and three children i actually didn't um even look oh and there's 10 pieces so that is like pretty much perfect um yeah and so they are so pretty right I just love it. And then, of course, I got the matching platter. They did have um, other um, sets or collections last year for Martha Stewart. I actually used the pink and mint that she had last year. And this year, I got this one. So this one comes with, like, two um, platter-type thingies. And they are so awesome. Like I said, last year, I did use the pink and mint ones. And I had, like, a dessert table and had, like, the macaroons and everything on here. It was so pretty you guys so maybe I'll take some pictures for you this year but anyway yeah I did get that stuff for my party and now we'll get into the crafting goodies. So on the way out I did randomly grab this shred. I had really been looking for the iridescent shred or the holographic shred but it was just way too expensive man like I ain't paying $15 for shred so on the way out I found this for a dollar at least I think it was a dollar possibly a dollar fifty so I grabbed it. I also grabbed this pink hat my dad actually went to Michael's which, with me, which was really awesome because for anyone who's been following my channel for like a really long time, you guys know that on the weekends, I used to go shopping with my dad a lot. And then um, you guys don't know this, but he was actually really ill um, after Christmas and he's better now and I'm so happy. So we went shopping again today for the first time in a while and it was awesome. 
So he actually found this hat for me. They were on clearance and I have actually ordered some pom-poms. They already arrived. I showed them in a video a couple months ago. And this is so awesome because I'm going to stick, they're like the fluff ball, you know, like the purse charm type. So I'm going to stick them on here and it is going to be like the cutest little like bunny little fluff ball hat. Yes. And I'm going to love it. So I also got another one of these Sparkle Magic Wow. I was so freaking excited because I actually got two other of these Sparkle Magic Wow books from that location, but when I did, they were the last ones there. My husband actually went and picked them up for me. I had called in and she put them on hold. And then when I went in today, oh my goodness, they had another two. So I'm not really gonna do like a full flip through because I've already shown this on my channel a couple times, but look at that, you guys. This is just like the most gorgeous book for anyone who loves pastel colors. Like I'm gonna be putting these on my wall and everything. I love them. Look at that page. So I used my 50 off coupon and I did get another one of those. So I did go looking in the $4 bin, which is your $2 bin if you're in the US. I was really looking for more of those small little holographic flowers. I couldn't find any. I couldn't really find anything in the $4 bin. And I was kind of confused because I heard a couple people in videos say that everything in that bin was on for 50 off. But I guess that was US only because there was no deals on the ones in Canada. But I did finally end up picking up two of these little holographic pouches. Um, you know, you guys are really lucky if you're getting these for $2 plus 50% off. But I thought these would be really cute to put in Happy Mail. And also I have like a little um, pouch obsession. I have like a really cute collection of them, which I will share with you guys one day. So anyway, I finally got those. I also got two spools of tulle. I got a mint and I got a pink and I thought those would be cute to add on to my paper crafting. I also found this Heidi Swap tape on clearance, which I was very happy about. I finally found out how they do clearance items at my Michael's location. Instead of a clearance section, they put clearance items on the end caps. So if you didn't know, guys, check for that. So I did find this Heidi Swap Marquee Love tape, and this is like one of my favorite tapes. Um, I actually love the turquoise one even more. So I got the pink and I was really excited about that. I also found this holographic ribbon and this is so pretty. I have never seen anyone haul this before and it was only like a dollar. Uh, I kind of wish I had got two now, but I think that'll be so perfect for Happy Mail. I also got these two spools of ribbon and I was kind of confused because they were a dollar. 77 and I could swear that last time it might have been another Michaels but I could swear they were only a dollar so I was like what the heck so like I don't know if they were on sale that day or if they're just different prices um but yeah so these are not tape these are a ribbon and I did get that one and that one loving the glitter so these bracelets here were a dollar each and I was like, you know what, it would take me like however long, you know, to make each one of these um, for a dollar. Like I, if I made one of these, I wouldn't even sell it for a dollar. I would sell it for more than that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to get them. My mom will like the coral and then I will keep the mint and turquoise for myself. I thought those were pretty. So I did pick up those. I got another one of these you know, these sets of um, pink divider trays because last time I got a mint, so I was like, I need the pink. And this time they had like a full stock of all of them. So I did get the pink. So of course you can't go to Michael's without getting stickers. And today they did have a coupon for 30% off all stickers and washi by Recollections. That actually reminds me, I totally forgot to look at the washi. But anyway, I did get these sticky gems. These ones were actually bead landing. So these ones didn't count for the coupon that I'm aware of, but I just thought they were really pretty. I think they were $1.99, could be wrong. And they just come in all these pretty colors. And what I really like to do is open them, like take the top off, repackage them and use them for happy mail. 
these are so pretty i also found this on clearance which like i said i am so glad that i found out about that end cap thing and i had actually seen these once before but i was like no way was i gonna pay uh whatever price it was it says 4.49 so that's five dollars for three tiny pages of stickers but a dollar 47 oh yeah and they are so cute i'll show them to you guys there's only three pages so they are basically like unicorn and sweet themed and just all bright and rainbowy. So cute. So these for some reason are in the baking section. Uh, I guess like some of them are food themed, but you could use these stickers for anything in my opinion. I absolutely love that one and the one with the donuts too. And then this is the last page. So, you know, totally not worth $5 Canadian but a dollar 47 yes definitely yes so then i did get two packs from the uh recollections oh my gosh i just realized that one of the ones that i got isn't recollections so i probably paid full price for that by accident uh, but anyway i did get these and i was so happy they were actually the only ones there and i was like kind of surprised because it looked like a bunch of other stuff had been restocked so these must have been restocked and are gone already because i know for a fact these were sold out from that store so i was so so happy to be able to score another pack of those then i got this pack which i have been eyeing for a while i'll have to check i think my 50 off might have gone towards this because i did do two separate purchases uh, but this is so pretty look at that purple castle so this actually goes absolutely perfect with the doodle bug uh is it stay magical fairy tale i don't know the doodle bug unicorn like fairy tale type collection this goes perfectly with it you guys so I am currently making flipbooks for a couple of my YouTuber friends daughters and I thought this would be absolutely perfect so I picked that up finally and I've been wanting it for a while like I said I also scored these on clearance which I was really happy about if you guys can believe it these are regular price 18 freaking 99 in Canada now there's no price on them so I called the girl over and I had her scan them for me and lo and behold they were on sale $5.99 so I grabbed them I know on AliExpress and eBay you can like find them cheaper but guys my parties in a couple weeks I can't wait three months for something to arrive or even a month anyway it comes with a hundred and they're mint and they're cute and they're polka dot and I got them. Okay, so I did get this new pair of cutting plates for my spellbinders. Exciting. But the next item I have to show you actually is exciting. And oh my goodness, why did nobody ever tell me that this stuff existed? Ah, you guys, this is freaking sticker paper. Yes, it is sticker paper. So you can make your own flipping stickers with this. Why have I never seen anyone haul this? Why did I not know this existed? And do you know what this means? Now with my new die cutting machine that I've been like making all these cute little thingies with, that means I will actually be able to make sticker ones. Oh my goodness. So I am going to be like sending out rainbow and unicorn stickers galore this is so cool you guys i got one sheet of the mint one of the pink and one of the lilac there was no pastel pink but i think that the bright pink actually goes really really pretty with these three papers so i did get these and i honestly cannot wait to use them they're so pretty i kind of just want to like leave them on the screen so i also got another sheet of this holographic paper um some of you may remember i I did get a sheet of this about a month ago and I have been loving it so much used it on a whole bunch of products or projects sorry so I did get another sheet then I got this one which I'd actually never noticed before not sure if it's new or not but if you can see there it's got like hexy glitter on it but it's all like patterned it's not just like randomly um dispersed so really cool uh, and then I also got this gold one over here and it is actually a bit different than the gold I usually get so I will show you the difference honestly it's almost like this one has like two different shades of gold or silver and gold so here is the gold that I usually get so now you guys can like see 
the difference, right? It's almost like this one has like silver or like white gold mixed in. I don't know. But anyway, I did get both. I also got some of my favorite staple colors, which I use all the time. Uh, here is a unicorn that I made with this in the past, actually with the other one I'm about to show you. But as you can see, they are just gorgeous. So I love this paper, but this one is like my all time favorite. And there was only one sheet of it left. These were actually on sale today, four for $10. Like don't even tell me how much they are in the US. I swear guys, but yeah, four for $10. Uh, so I would have got a bunch, but there was only one left of this particular color, and I love this one. I also got this mint one right here, which, of course, is looking white. Um, but it is actually a very, very light mint green. like a, It's like a baby blue mint, but it's still definitely mint, not baby blue. Then I got this mint shade over here, which is another of my favorites. So you can see this one's kind of like in the middle. So that is like my favorite shade, like the middle one. And then it looks like I got a pink, which is actually showing up a lot nicer on camera than I thought it would. And it looks like there's a piece of pink string on it for some reason. Um, so I did get that one and it doesn't want to come off. And then I got this gorgeous, like iridescent pink. It's like AB and so this is like, it's looking white with pink glitter, but if you were here, it's actually all baby pink and it is just so pretty and I love it. So um, another thing I found today was this totally awesome hot buy book. This is one that I have never seen before in the store or seen hauled on YouTube. I was so excited when I found it. There was only one I looked and I found this down low. It was not up high and not sure how the hot buys are arranged in your store, uh, but I do have a video showing how they are in my store. You guys, I am so excited. So this is an entire a uh, book of holographic paper. It is called Holographic Dream. I even adore this like lilac color right here. It is just so pastel and so calming and soothing. Oh my goodness. It's actually almost making me wish that they had incorporated that into the book, but still the book is awesome. So like I said, it is basically just an entire book of holographic paper. So I will do a really quick flip through. You've got some cut aparts there. I love this one. Look at all the colors shining. You've got red, yellow, blue, green, purple. Like from this angle, like you, you really can see them all. You guys, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you've got that one. Then you've got this one. They are all just so cool. And these are gonna be perfect for my packaging, for my jewelry. This is one of my favorites the hearts and just look how holographic that is you guys total rainbow oh my goodness and the stripes so this one is also in the stay magical pad and it's one of my favorites i have done some happy mail with that it's great for unicorn magical themed very trendy oh my gosh i love this one you guys Okay, now I'll go a little bit faster, but you get the picture. Basically just all holographic there. You've got a frame page. Yeah, so I pretty much love every page. Really happy I found it. So I did get some new dies, like I was saying in the beginning of the video. They're not actually from Michaels. They're from scrapbook.com and from eBay. Um, I don't want this video to really get much longer, so I'm not going to show all of them right now, but I'm going to show a few of them really quickly. So I did get a bunch of new unicorn dies that I'm very, very happy with. And you guys, these ones were only like a dollar 50. I swear to God, they were like a dollar 50 or was it 250? I don't know, something like that, you guys, but it was so awesome. I think it was like a dollar 50. So here is the unicorn that this diet creates. And if you just go on scrapbook.com and search 
X cut dies, they will pop up. Or you can also search dies under $6 and a whole bunch of awesome dies pop up. That is the unicorn right there. So I actually got two. I got one for myself and then I got one to gift in some unicorn happy mail. So I also got this sparkle die and I don't currently have the back. I was like rushing to get up here to finally get a video out to you guys. Um, but I did get this sparkle die as well. This was another one from scrapbook.com under six dollars i think it was like maybe two or three dollars possibly four at the most and here is what it creates and i am absolutely loving it i also got this mermaid die over here and i wasn't sure how it was going to turn out because i didn't like um some of the recollections mermaids that i saw and there was some other ones even on aliexpress that i didn't like but look she's so pretty okay and for a dollar fifty you can't go wrong. So that is gonna be totally awesome for some mermaid happy mail, magical happy mail. So I don't have um, one of these cutouts up here to show you. And I actually did quickly show these in, um, actually I think, yeah, I showed these in my last scrapbook haul, but I wanted to show these to you guys cause they're pink, they're freaking pink dyes. Like what the heck you guys, scrapbook.com. You got it, I think there's only like one or two left cause I'm still like watching them on there. Um, but anyway, I also got this really cute Lawn Fawn Grass Cuts die. I thought this was so adorable. Again, you could use these with your unicorn projects. Um, you know, my son could use this with his little projects that he does. It is so cute. So, and again, that was like under $6. So I did also get a bunch of dies on eBay and AliExpress. All of them haven't arrived yet, but this one has arrived. So this one is an envelope die and what I wanted this little envelope die for was putting little envelopes in my flip books because um, I've been making them a different way and I just can't wait to have like an actual little mini envelope in my flip book so I was really happy to get that. So I actually did get one other set before I forget. I don't have the packaging up here to show you guys so I may end up showing it um, in my next die haul when my next order comes from AliExpress and uh, from scrapbook.com but anyway I did get this adorable set. I've actually had it for a couple weeks already. I made these as soon as it arrived. I just couldn't help myself. It also comes with this embossing folder that I haven't used yet, but I did see Happy Mail Queen use it and it turned out so precious, you guys, and magical. So I absolutely love it. One of the things that is great about this set is that you can actually customize your rainbow, you know, instead of just having the regular rainbow. Like I have a couple rainbows from a couple different sets, but this is the best one by far. I'm going to admit the unicorns, um, you know, they did test my patience a little bit to put them together, but it did work out in the end. They are really cute. You can also add like a little glittery horn, which I probably will end up doing, which looks great. And yeah, they're so cute and I love so, them. So last but not least, I promised you guys some beads and I will deliver. Now, if you're not into beads or beading or jewelry making, then you can stop watching the video now and I promise I won't be upset. Anyway, for my beaters, I also have a really huge bead haul coming up. I'm really hoping to get it out to you guys like this week. If you can see these drawers over here, these are the drawers that I use to keep stuff in that I'm like saving up for my haul videos. And the top drawer that you see like bursting at the seams, that one is a bead haul. Oh yeah, guys. So my beaters, you can expect a bead haul from me very, very soon. Anyway, I was at Michael's. I did pick up some beads. Uh, all the strung beads were either 40 or 60 off and then I had another 20 off coupon on top of that so I got them for either 60 or 80 off can't remember exactly but it was a good deal so I did get three strands of these ones which are a favorite and have been for the last year or so. I used to not like this type of bead when they were like really popular and in style, but of course I started liking them afterwards. Um, I also got these ones, which I absolutely love. These look so great to put on puff balls with purse charms, um, you know, on planner charms, basically you get the picture. They're just awesome. You guys know what they are. So I actually found some new beads at 
at Michael's, which I was pretty excited about because it has been a while since I have seen new beads at Michael's. So I did find these purple ones. So these are seed beads and are they 6mm? Uh, let's see. So, or 6-0. Oh yeah, okay, they're 6 See, I, I still got my, my beading, uh, beading brain going on here. So these are 6-0 and they're honestly showing up like a teensy bit darker on camera, but they are like a gorgeous mix of lilacs and like light purples and lavenders and just so beautiful guys. So I had to grab those. And then I also found these which I had never seen before. So of course they're that like minty aqua color that I absolutely adore. That's actually like my favorite shade, that color right there. Um, so I did pick these up and yeah, I did not see these last year, never seen these before. Then I found these ones and these are not the Doris pearls. These are bead landing strung beads and of course they look white on camera but they're not white you guys these are like light mint green and i was like ooh, light mint green glass pearls and i had never seen these there and you get the three sizes or, or maybe four sizes there so that's nice so i did pick and up lastly, those lastly i got this really pretty string of pastel rondelles they have some kind of like a coating on them that just makes them look so pretty so seeing as they were on clearance i couldn't say no okay guys that was everything for my michael's haul for today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up Make sure you're subscribed because you definitely want to be a part of this awesome kawaii crafting fam. And I'll see you next time, Miss Eddie Blue.